Good morning, everybody. Um, hopefully this video will be quick and easy. It's a cute little DIY using these Dollar General, um, like almost like a burlap, like a canvas kind of gift bag. Um, they're very large, and when I saw them, I knew immediately what I wanted to do with them. There's a couple different crafts I wanted to do with them, but this first one is so simple. Um, I did look for the um, fabric hot glue. Our Walmart does not carry it. Our Walmart does not carry a lot of any of that kind of stuff. So we're going to sew. We're just going to go with the flow. They're going to need thread, needles, scissors, this bag, and some polyfill. It's going to use polyfill, which is three forty-seven a bag. I think it's going to take the entire bag per pillow. So that makes this about a $7 pillow. They sell similar pillows like this for about 10 bucks. So you're saving a little bit of money. And if you're a crafter, you know, that's good. We are going to have excess cloth. I'm going to cut just up here and give myself enough of a seam that I can fold this over and sew it. So, because this is really stiff material, it folds very well. I'm going to do that. Now, I did take a couple of needles, and because this is stiff fabric, put in some just to hold it in place while I cut and trim off this excess. I will take this piece, and I may use it in another craft, because I like the snowflakes on that. Now we're going to turn this inside out. I used to work at a dress factory and we didn't use needles. <laughs> so um, I actually used to work at a dress factory that made the Girl Scout uniforms. So, you know, it is what it is. I'm just going to go ahead and this fabric is wonderful to work with because you can fold it and just hold it and it actually holds its crease. Look at that guys. I like this fabric. Not very comfortable. It's a very rough fabric but nice to work with. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stitch this. And for my knot, I'm going to do that one time, and then I'm going to go back and do it where I'm wrapping the thread around multiple times. Here, on this outer edge where it's already got a seam, I'm going to poke in. Most people should already know how to sew, but... If you don't, there are instructional videos. I'm actually going to loop into my other end and pull it. And then I'm going to actually just do two stitches right there, close together. And that's how I'm going to sew across here. And then from here, I'm just going to do this stitch. Going in and coming back out just a short ways away. I'm going to leave about a third of the pillow open. And I'm going to knot this right here, make my final stitch, and I'm going to go in, come back up. Um, my grandmother always, let me do that again, 
always did one of these steps where she just wrapped around the needle. And every time I've done this, I've made a terrible mess. Look at that. Today it actually worked. <laughs> and then I'm going to actually make my own style knot. I just come like that. Catch my loop right here. Pull my needle through it and come back up through and pull it tight. But I'm going to do that a second time because I don't want this to come loose. Normally I would come through this loop more than once. But seems how we've got three knots. I don't think we need to. Clip my string. We're going to try to pull it inside right. Reach in here. Grab this far corner. You always want to bring your far corner up first. And just slowly and gently pull it through. And then poke your corners. Come back across that and poke that all on its own. And come up to the corner that you just made. I bought the polyfill at Walmart. It's the only place in my town that sells it. And honestly, it's probably the cheapest place to buy it. When you're doing DIYs, you really want to keep your budget low. Especially if you're doing it to sell it. And this is probably going to take at least... Um, and everybody prefers their pillows to be filled. Um, different fullness. I like to know that there's actually polyfill in my pillows. I've seen some people fill a pillow and have it be like, where's the filling? I like to know that there's fluff in my pillows. This pillow's about as full as I really want it. I've stuffed the polyfill down out of my way. So go ahead and fold this in. All the way across there. And once I'm done, I can pull that polyfill back up into this corner. With this, I will go ahead and put some needles in there. You're going to want to grab some of your material on one side. And get your knot secured. And you're working on the inside of the material. My fingers are not letting me do this, guys. They just are not working today. Just reach in there. Grab that piece. Just the inside piece. Because you're gonna, gonna want to secure your knot first. Pull it through. Secure a knot. I do this twice because I want to make sure that my knots are going to hold. And then take that tail and make sure it stays tucked down inside the pillow while you're working. You don't want your tail sticking up. Then bring your pillow pieces together and you're going to kind of zipper stitch, what I call a zipper stitch. You're going to go back and forth and just catching the insides of the pillow. Like I said, I, my fingers are not working today at all. This is not the day to do this, I guess. I'm just going to be able to do one stitch at a time. I used to be able to just do this and do like three or four stitches at a time. And just pull it tight like a zipper. I am at the very end and I'm stitching this shot right here where the seam is and knotting it. And I've already knotted it once just up here, but I wanted to make sure that where this seam all comes together has extra knots to hold this all tight. Because I don't want this to come apart. If somebody purchases from me, I want to make sure that this has a good knot. So, trim this back. 
because you're not going to be able to actually get this down in there out of the way but you don't want to cut your knot off so you really want to trim close but not too close so there is that we will fold that down under scooch polyfill down into there to shake your pillow and just kind of work your polyfill up into that corner I put extra polyfill in here just for this. Scrunch your pillow, work it around. And there it is. We have taken the Dollar Tree large gift bag and turned it into this adorable DIY pillow. Now I've got one more pillow to do. Because of my arthritis, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get it done. My hands are like swollen and stiff from stitching this, but I will try. Be back with you in a little later. Okay guys, there are both pillows completely finished. Here is the deer pillow. I did have to, because this is so far up, I did take and put a new seam on the bottom. But these are the large um, cloth gift bags from the Dollar General. And there is the red truck. They are really and a lot of people would not fill them this full, but I did. So there you have it. A quick DIY. Yes, you can um, skip what I did. I hand sewed them. Um, you can use the fabric glue sticks or you can sew them on a machine. But I didn't feel like digging my machine out, so I went ahead and... I just hand stitch them and they are so cute. Thanks for watching guys. Have a wonderful day.